Mountain gorillas, they eat nearly 200 species of plants. The eucalyptus, what we call blue gum tree, this is what they call maiden, and they don't eat the leaves. They peel the bark like this, using their teeth, and they lick the sap. They do like this. So I call this gorilla chocolate. That's a joke, of course, yeah. They need this sap because it's a little bit salty. Maybe they're looking sodium in this. This eucalyptus, they are here because it's a volcanic soil and they, in this area, it rains almost the whole year. And that's why they are surviving here because they suck a lot of water from the ground. The bamboo, they are very important for gorillas because uh, you can see when it's a bamboo shoot period, you see gorilla very active because they get their favorite food. But uh, for sure, uh, the gorilla, they get sugar in it. They are very <laughs> energized. So they like the shoots. Them very active babies, juvenile, silverback, they, when they meet the bamboo shoot, that's a favorite day and they are very happy. Most of the animals just prefer to eat the, the, the younger, very younger leaves. They just assemble them and make a bunch of them, then they eat. They have more nutrients and more water okay. compared to old leaves. Normally they do this. Okay. They remove the outer parts, then they take the inside of it. And they can use both the mouth and the, the hands. Then they eat this one. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it is very nutritious. According to the research, it has some proteins, some uh, carbohydrates, such as sugar. The gorillas will come when the shoots are starting coming. When they reach a certain level, because they grow very fast, mm -hmm. like uh, 10 centimeters per day. And when they reach a, a certain level, like one meter, mm -hmm. it is no longer eaten by gorillas, so it, it will grow. And the forest will not, will not dry. So this is natural gardening? Yes, yes. <laughs> they just grow twice a year. Twice a year. During the rainy season. Yeah, that's when they grow. But of course they have to mix with other vegetation they find in the area. Such as Urera, such as the Eurotica we saw yesterday. The thistles. You can see even here there, there is the thistles here in the garden. This, this used to be a habitat for gorillas. Yes. The park used to reach the, the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah in the past. <laughs>